Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video I will make a battery which is not some typical battery and it's not some battery which I make most of the times. Because this battery will not store some energy by chemical reaction but instead the battery will store some thermal energy. And yeah, the battery which is in my mind right now is some sand battery. And the basic principle of the sand battery is that some sort of the heater will heat up the sand and the sand will store the heat so just for example if we have here some container which is filled with the sand and on the bottom will be some heater this heater will heat the sand and the sand will store this heat and also a really important factor by this kind of battery is also isolation that the heat will not escape so quickly but in this video i have some idea to make some a little bit different sand battery with some integrated heater which means that I will not use some external heater to heat up the sand which means that all the components which I will use to make this battery will act like how to say like integrated heater and this I will make by making some sand conductive into this can I will put some conductive sand because this can is some metal can and this can will automatically serve me like a negative electrode so this entire can will be my negative electrode and in the middle i will put also some conductive material for example some copper pipe or something similar which will act like positive electrode and for this reason i need to make this sand which is in this container conductive that I will get some electrical connection between the positive and the negative electrode and now I will make this battery so first I will fill this can with some sand And right now, at this moment, this end is not conductive. For this reason, I need to add some conductive material to this end. And the conductive material will be some carbon black. Five point seven ohms. Very nice. And now I will fill this conductive sand into this can. <gasps> Oops, I just forgot. So actually I need to put some paper on the bottom to this container because on the middle I will put some copper pipe and I don't want that I will get some uh, contact between the positive and the negative electrode uh, if I push this copper pipe too deep into this can. For this reason I will isolate the bottom and this I will do with some 
piece of paper. Like so. Pretty simple. And now I will fill this container with this conductive scent. Okay, and in the middle I will push some copper pipe, uh, this one, here I have some copper piece, Like so. Let's check the conductivity. <clears throat> Two point seven ohms. <laughs> really awesome. I will connect my power supply to this battery so the yellow and the red are yeah the positive okay then in this case this will be the positive And green and blue cable are the negative. Okay. Right now I use five volts and five amps. And this will be all the power which I will put into this battery because my power supply is limited to 5 amps and for this reason also uh, this battery will heat up slowly oh yeah the copper is a little bit hot Let's check 31 46 okay yeah So the area around the pipe is almost 50. Is by the corners so the copper heat up first and then the temperature goes like so okay I leave this sand battery for about one hour on 5 amps and 5 volts and the temperature which I get on this power is around 120 145 so the can is hot but really hot is on this copper pipe so actually I cannot measure the right the right temperature because the surface is too reflective but here I have a little bit of water 
Oh. So the pipe is really really hot. Okay guys, I tried my idea about this sand battery and now I'm happy with the results which I get. So guys, that's it for now and we we'll see us in the next video. Bye!